let's look at how NDP3 is different from NDP2 and NDP1. We already said that they're different because uh, NDP3 came in within the time of the pandemic. But let's look at the real differences. The first difference is that NDP3 builds on the previous NDPs, but to fast track realization of results, they adopted a programmatic approach to planning. A programmatic approach to planning like by interlinking projects so that they can do things faster. But the priorities of the NDP still remain agriculture, ICT, minerals and petroleum development, manufacturing, human capital development and infrastructure development. But they adopted a programmatic approach to planning. That, that is the first difference between NDP3 and the first two NDPs. Another difference is increased role of the state. In NDP3, they increased the role of the state in, in the implementation of the NDP. Whereas in the previous NDPs, the private sector was assumed to drive growth. Under NDP3, the role of the state in guiding and facilitating development will be strengthened in order to fully exploit the quasi market and the and the PPP approaches in development. In this case, government will invest either wholly or jointly with the private sector and communities in strategic enterprises in order to increase growth in a balanced manner across the country. So here, in NDP3, they increase the role of the state in development by encouraging it to invest either wholly or pa 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 partially in strategic enterprises. And in the other previous NDPs, they were overemphasizing private sector development. That is the second difference between NDP3 and NDP2 and 1. Another difference is increased investment in fundamentals. In NDP3, they are increasing investment in fundamentals like human capital development, transport, energy and ICT that will bridge the gap between what is needed to exploit our development opportunities and, it, and what is currently available. For instance, with regard to human capital, the sufficient skill gap in internationally satisfied welding, scaffolding, machine operators, assemblers and drivers. So investment in skills development will be focused on we will be fo focused on pro production of these in sufficiently large number to work on expanding mineral and petroleum development sector. So they are going to work on those things of investment in human capital transport to help develop our key sectors like the oil sector and, the, and to increase on in the production of goods and services. And that is the third difference between NDP3 and the other first NDPs yeah. and the difference is increased investment in fundamentals like human capital development.